Good afternoon, Warriors. Today is Friday, August 21st. I'm Savannah, and joining me in the studio are Jose at the News Desk, Liana with Club and Warrior Sports, and our guest today is Mr. Romero from the College and Career Center. Let's get started. Thanks, Savannah. Today's headlines include College Fair, Saturday Math, and Club News. First up is Ms. Romero from the College and Career Center. So, hey, Mr. Romero, thank you for joining us today. What can you tell us about the College Fair and what can we expect if we participate? Thank you, Jose. Thanks for having me. Uh, the College Fair is Wednesday, September 2nd, so in a couple of Wednesdays. That's going to be during second period in the South Gym. Okay. It's mandatory for all seniors to attend, so senior teachers, if you have an all-senior class, please escort your whole class to the gym after taking attendance. Um, seniors that are in mixed level classes should be released by their teachers to go to the South Gym immediately after attendance. Um, at the fair, they're going to see and meet with recruiters from throughout the state of Arizona. You're going to have ASU, U of A, NAU, GCU, almost all the community colleges um, and other four-year schools here in Arizona will be there in attendance, as well as New Mexico schools. We're going to have New Mexico State, uh, University of New Mexico, Western New Mexico University, as well as several other colleges, probably from Nevada and Colorado. So it's going to be a great event for our seniors. And all they need to do to pre-register is go to the GoToCollegeFairs.com website and make an account with them. That way they can print out a barcode or upload it to their smartphone. And the day of the fair, they can go and exchange their information with all the recruiters just by getting their barcode scanned instead of having to fill out a postcard at each and every table. Okay. Well, thank you for being here and thank you for sharing this information with us. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Romero. Next up, let's talk about the 21st Century After School Program. We'll kick off this week, we'll kick off the week of September 10th. For those of you new to Pueblo, CCLC is our after school program where we offer academic and enrichment classes, as well as parent activities. There are several options for math tutoring. Here's one. Math tutoring is available on Saturdays here at Pueblo from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Students are asked to bring math assignments with them for the tutoring. For more information, check out the link tosd1.org slash Saturday Math or talk to your math teacher. The TRIO Educational Talent Search office is in the College and Career Center. Mr. Carlos Gonzalez is available to meet with students Tuesday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Ms. Castellum is fundraising to buy books. According to her, Dee Dee's Discount Stores, right across the street from school on 12th and Ajo, is working with a company known as First Book. You can help by making a donation at Dee Dee's Discount. Students that need services through Yodo, Youth on Their Own, you can register every Thursday during lunch in the College and Career Center. If you have any questions, please go see Ms. Vironé. This year is the 60th anniversary of El Guerrero. Mr. Medi, our journalism teacher, says his journalists are busy writing feature stories for the Pueblo blog. We want to promote their work and encourage you to share your highlights and info by the way of the job form link. That way, radio, TV, yearbook, and the newspaper bloggers will share the info. Of, will share the, info. the link to submit is Pueblo Warriors slash submit. And now to the club and sports desk with Liana. Thanks. First to club info. According to Ms. Crane, the first National Honor Society meeting of the year is Tuesday, August 25th, right after school in room 217. All members should attend, even the newly approved ones. That's Tuesday in, two, in the room 217. Pueblo's Tribal Images Club has their first meeting next week. That meeting is Thursday, September 3rd, from 3.30 to 4.30 in Ms. Onsa's classroom. Tribal Images is a club that seeks to explore Native American culture and heritage through social and community engagement. That meeting is in room 114. Road Warriors has an announcement. Ms. Warner is inviting all students and staff members to participate in the club. Their main goal is to participate in the 2015 El Tour de Tucson. This bike race has four different distances, the 40 mile race, the 55-mile race, the 75-mile race, and the 104-mile race. El Tour de Tucson is on Saturday, November 21st. Ms. Warner also adds that Road Warrior 
meetings will be held on Tuesday right after school. For more information, talk to Ms. Warner, Mr. Richards, or Mr. Adams. Coming up next week in sports and in the the first game of the season is the way against Catalina Foothills Friday the 28th. That's the varsity football. The freshman and JV football will also be facing Catalina Foothills on August 27th. Freshmen play at 4 and JV will be playing at 7. Those games are home. All boys and girls running cross country. There is no practice today. Your practice will start again tomorrow. I, I'm kidding about that. Next Thursday, August 27th, the varsity volleyball team will be having a scrimmage against Choya, Nogales, Amphi, and Palo Verde at 4 p.m. here in the Libre Gym. That's all from Warrior Sports. Back to the news desk. Thanks for watching. Before we go, we want to remind seniors to take care of senior portraits and for everyone to submit photos to El Dorado Yearbook. Yearbooks are on sale in the business office. For Warrior News, I'm Savannah. I'm Jose. And I'm, I'm Liana. We'll see you Monday. Oops. Close to me.